about 50,000 Jews left in the Warsaw Ghetto. And they have no illusions that it's going to get better. And they decide that if they're going to die anyway, they might as well go down with honor. I always wanted to see Yad Vashem, uh, out of respect to my grandfather, who was in the Holocaust and survived and escaped from a camp. And see, seeing that and kind of dealing with that emotion was amazing. Six million Jews were killed, three million from Poland, a million from Russia, 500,000 from Hungary, 165,000 from Germany. I mean, it just, I'm getting choked up from talking about it. Go through the whole Holocaust experience and, and see how our people were murdered and slaughtered so mercilessly. And then to think that the survivors of that were actually able to physically make their way here. What we're going to do is we're going to walk straight towards the military cemetery just to take a position in between Am Israel, the people of Israel, and to stand there at 11 o'clock when the blast goes on the entire Israel. One of the most emotional things I've ever seen personally to see the family members, and I mean, if you if there was if you have a dry eye, you're, you're not a human being. kind of really helps one to put their lives in uh, perspective. I think we take a lot of things for granted, especially living in the United States. Um, we should think more about, you know, some of the people that have to give their lives for us to be able to have what we have and the freedoms that we have. Please go. The rules understood everybody. Not the I can't believe how many things we've already done. It's unbelievable. One, two, three, four, You know, guys yelling at us and running around and, and, and learning about, you know, what it's like to be in the special forces. Everybody protect. Ready? Actually, this is the pure Israeli martial arts. Oh. 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 Having actually been here and met many of the people and seen the landmarks. This is the, the, the moment Israel was born in this room. How hard they have worked to develop this country, to make a desert green. I have tremendous respect for the people and I feel an incredible amount of solidarity. <laughs> met so many intelligent, bright kids who are doing really interesting things and, and taking risks and, and starting great businesses. It was really inspiring. I, I met a, a kid who was in his 20s, moved to China to find a business model, lived there for two years, and started a company now that's employing 60 people. And, and the story just goes on and on. It was the fact that this is the, the home of the startup company, of high-tech companies, and that it's the leading edge of virtually everything um, is, is absolutely remarkable. You're getting me at a bad time. <laughs> Two hundred fifty pounds, and I float. It's you know, it floats. You move around real nice. It's uh, definitely not like anything uh, I've ever experienced before. <laughs> that was great. I don't want everybody back in Philadelphia being uh, you know envious of this. 
I got baptized. It was unbelievable. <laughs> of our tiny country is mostly empty. The Negev and the Galil produce only 8% of Israel's economy, which means not only that it's empty, most of its population comes from relatively low socio-economic level. This is a place for guests, so if you want to come here and want to live there, it's for people who want to visit us, special building from, from a dry land. Gangnam Style About 30,000 students here on our campus. We have between 15 to 20 people uh, doing research mainly uh, in cyber issues, space issues, energy. We managed to do what I want us to do is to build a joint institution, research institution, uh, in the New Jersey area. Uh, we are um, five people doing business development in, in remote covering between us really all our fields and laboratories in uh, Tel Aviv University. Food in Google is not just about food. Much like our uh, communal areas in terms of the formal meeting rooms and the informal meeting rooms, the point here is to create a place for people to meet, for people to interact. There's really almost no way to reconcile the, the ancient ruins and the high-tech nature of, of the Israeli economy. I don't, I don't think I can fully process it, to, to be honest with you. Philadelphia Federation, from my point of view, our friends and partners. And this is something that I appreciate a lot and I want to thank you all uh, for uh, sharing with us this care and this, uh, and this willingness to help these kids. Uh, we have many more programs and many more needs 
and uh, we are in touch with your representatives all the time. The question is who will take control of the oxygen pipeline? And the Russians and the Chinese are very much afraid that the Americans will take control of it. They have already control in Saudi Arabia. You know, we, we did things at a very high level and we had amazing access. Um, and you can't necessarily just do it as a tourist. And I think that's one of the great things about the Federation of Missions. It brings community leaders in and interact with them. Um, I think that is, is tremendous. responsible for the border with Lebanon. Actually the border is just down here one or 200 meters uh, behind these trees. We have tens of thousands of rockets uh, at this side of the border all aimed to Israel. Every building that you see here that looks like an agricultural building it is something that we have to be sure that it is not infrastructure of Hezbollah. And the challenge is how you make a war here that the enemy shoots to Tel Aviv, to Haifa, to all of our uh, settlements here, many rockets, and they all within the civilians. We watch a drill that simulates a patrol going along the border and being surprised a uh, surprised attack uh, from uh, Hezbollah. age and the spirit and the and the uh, commitment that you see from people so young um, is remarkable. This is the point of the abduction. Meeting the people, meeting the soldiers, hearing the, the stories, it's absolute it's contributed a hundred times to how I feel about Israel. Lebanon is a beautiful country. A powerful highlight for me of this trip has clearly been the Israeli people themselves. I'm entirely inspired by the way they live, surrounded by threats constantly. Not only do you not see fear on their faces, you see nothing but joy. Uh, this homeland is almost like a new toy that they'll never get tired of. And uh, now that I've been here, I understand why. Contributing to Jewish Federation and then seeing what the contributions have created has been amazing. To walk in the footsteps of the forefathers and the foremothers, to see uh, places that I learned about in Hebrew school many, many, many years ago, um, it's been an absolutely moving experience. So between the yellow and the blue gate, that is the Israeli position, and between uh, the blue gate and the flag of Syrian uh, soldiers over there, that is the DMZ, Demilitary Zone. You go home now, pick up the New York Times, and what you read, we just saw it for the last four days. I learned more uh, about the Philadelphia Federation coming 6,000 miles than I did being in Philadelphia about the programs that we help here in Israel. You cannot understand the dynamics of this country um, without seeing, touching, and feeling it. It's, it's a completely different experience and honestly I can't wait to come back again. If I had one word to describe it, it was pride. The pride about being a Jew and being a Jew here in Israel. As a 40 year old I, I waited too long. A connection to a country that I've only read about and just a, 
a, a emotion that I've never really experienced before in visiting a place that it feels like home. And what I learned about myself was that I have a second home. I hold out great hope that our generation, generations to follow, can absolutely carry the torch in the diaspora for uh, supporting Israel. Knowing that people had a good time is one thing, everyone would have a good time, but knowing that everyone both individually learned something about Federation, learned something about Israel, learned something about themselves, makes me feel good about what we've done.